Good evening, good evening, good evening. Today is still Saturday, October 12th, 2024. Look how fast this month going by, y'all. It's almost the middle of the month. Better be Merry Christmas to you. Anyway, I know it's a pagan holiday. Well, we don't want to hear about it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Again, today is Saturday, October 12th, 2024. Back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I've been all over, you know, I'm a content creator. And I make great content for anybody that want to watch it. Just hit subscribe. <laughs> but I'm all over the internet, all over YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Life, the news, Channel 5, Fox, MSNBC. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm out here in these streets like Kamala Harris. Me and Kamala Harris, we out here in these streets together. And I'm noticing a trend here when it comes to Democrat men, the men that are still Democrats. The first thing they want to do, they're coming after black men that are no longer Democrats. They're calling us all kind of names. They pissed off. We're idiots. Sellouts. How can you not be for her? Trump is a racist. Did that and the other. And I'm just listening. And I'm observing. Now the common theme between every one of those male Democrats. Every one of them. Don't matter if they're black or white. They're very emotional. See, if you voting for Kamala, well, I hate it because I know she's horrible. And she's going to destroy it. She's going to finish destroying the country. I hate it. But as an alpha male, as a strong man, I'm not going to get emotional about it. I'm just gonna put if she I'm, I'm gonna prepare for the worst in case she win. I'm just gonna be prepared, try to have me a little money saved up, some some ammo, some artillery, some tools, and be ready for whatever. I already know how to fish, plant food. I, I already know how to do all. I'm a country dude. I grew up with, with grandparents, parents that knew how to do all that. And I know how to do it. I used to go out there and hold a garden, and y'all know what I'm talking about holding the garden. Holding the ground, right? I know how to do all that. So, I'm just prepared. And that's what I tell y'all to do, just be prepared. You know what I mean? It's a good chance she can win. I ain't gonna say it's gonna be fair and square. But she can win. I don't think she can win fair and square. I hope I can, I'm can. i allowed to say that. That's just my views and opinions. That's all it is, just an opinion. But I'm just te telling y'all, be prepared for if she wins. That's all I say about people that vote for her. I don't get all emotional. Calling them out their names. Telling them they need to, maybe I have said they need to disappear. You know, I may have, yeah. Because it's true. But overall, I don't see the, the conservative or the independent men getting all emotional about who somebody else vote for. I ain't telling nobody who to vote for. I'm telling you who I support. I'm telling you who I ain't voting for. But those damn Democrats, I ain't telling my dude, the men, they get more emotional than the women. They get more in their feelings than the women. They throw out more insults than the women. And they all move the same. They all, they got a lot in common. One main thing they got in common. They all sassy. The modern day male Democrat, I don't care if he's black or white, 
He either sassy or beta male. Hold on, y'all. So what you ain't gonna find, I, I ain't know I was still recording y'all, my bad, I done bought me something to eat. But what you ain't gonna find, right, is an alpha male, strong, leader type man, that's still a Democrat. I'm not saying they've never been Democrats, but you're not, in this modern day Democrat party, this is not the old school Democrat party. So therefore, the real men have left the Democrat Party. There might be a handful of them still in there and they, they, they on their way out too. They on their way out. If it is, and you don't hear from them, the ones you see on the internet, on YouTube and whatever, talking crazy, those are not the alpha males. If there are any that still left in the Democrat Party, which I don't think there are any left, they are sassy, saucy Santana wannabes. And I ain't got no problem with saucy Santana because he, 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 ain't, he ain't undercover with it. He letting you know what it is with him. But the male Democrat, man, y'all just as... It's ridiculous. Y'all got Obama, Magic Johnson, and others attacking black men. To my ass, why are they after black men? They're not after black men. They're after black masculinity. It's not that they want our votes. They don't need our votes. It ain't that many of us. There's not enough black men to where our votes are that important. This is just another chance for them to belittle us on a world stage for everybody to see. That gives them another excuse to belittle and demasculate the black man. To make him look bad in front of his woman. So his woman will continue to not respect him. And nobody's doing that more than the black male, or just male period, but especially the black male Democrats. Cause y'all already been demasculated or emasculated, whatever the word is. You're not masculine anymore. So what do y'all do? Because you jealous of the men, you're really jealous that we got the balls to walk away, to get away, to escape. You want to, as well, but you're scared. What's your mama gonna think? What's your old lady gonna think? What's your wife gonna think? So you ain't got the courage to walk away like we do. So instead of saying, damn, I wanna do what they doing too. Instead of you saying, let me go, man, damn with my wife tomorrow. She leave me, she just gonna leave me. I ain't voting, I'm, I'm not Democrat no more. This how our household gonna be. We ain't doing all that old full gaze and stuff. Uh-uh. Y'all ain't gonna do that. But you see a man like me that can admit I've been wrong all these years voting Democrat. And I'm willing to make up for my mistake. I don't care who don't like me. You see people coming against me, calling me cool, sell out the time, whatever. And I still stand strong on what I'm saying. I still stand on business. 
no matter what's been said about me, no matter how many of my people have turned their back on me, call me all of my, all of my name, call it whatever, I'm holding, I'm holding the 10 toes down. I'm standing firm on what I believe, no matter who don't like it. That what y'all don't like about me and other black men like me, that's why y'all coming after us. Y'all just as sassy as you want to be. That is not manly. That ain't what real men do. That's why y'all over in the Democrat Party. Ladies, if your husband or boyfriend is still a Democrat, even if you're a Democrat, I ain't tripping on a woman if she's a Democrat. But if your husband or your boyfriend is still a Democrat, he's not a leader. He's a beta male and he's sassy. One of the two, or he might be both. He either this, or he's just a beta male that ain't got no leadership in him. You running the household of that woman. Maybe you you the type of woman that you want to run it. Well, he's the perfect man for you. Keep your Democrat male. If you want a man that follows your leadership as a woman, get your Democrat. Ladies, if you're looking for you a man that you can control, that's gonna do what you say. That's gonna let you be the leader of the house. Get your Democrat. Some women want that. Most women don't. Most women want a leader. They want a strong leader. They want a man that's a man. They want a John Wayne man's man. You better not get you no Democrat. He's gonna be sassy. Oh, he's gonna be soft. He may not be on the, in the community, but he's soft as hell. He's going to get on the internet. He's going to troll men like me, but they ain't going to say it to my face. He's going to talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got some strong fingers. Benching 500 with his fingers only. Don't need no bench press. His fingers got the strongest fingers in the world on the internet. Just typing. Big fingers. That's all he gonna do, to talk. So, my conclusion from what I saw, what I'm seeing, fellas, if you're uh, conservative or you say you vote for Trump or you vote on, you're on the couch, whatever, you, if you saying you ain't for her, you're not a Democrat no more, they coming after you if you're a man. But just know this, the only reason they coming after you they try to take your manhood. They try to punk you. They want you like them. They don't want strong black men running around here. A strong, educated black man is a threat to the system. Always was, always is, always will be. So therefore, the black man must be neutralized by any means necessary. Through drugs, through his woman, through the whatever. We gotta neutralize and demasculate that black man. He's a problem. If he's educated, strong, independent, confident, so therefore, here they come. Our votes are not that important, fellas. Black man, your votes are not that important. Your manhood is. Your masculinity is. That's what they after. Not your vote. That's why they calling us out not nobody else. They wouldn't dare say that about a white man. They wouldn't dare fix their mouth. As much as they say, them white folks racist. They hate us. They would not fix their mouth to call them out talking about they, if they ain't voting Democrat. But they call them the black man out. Why? Why? It's deeper than what you see. The rabbit hole runs deep. The, the black woman alone is enough for a Democrat to win an election. They do not need the black male vote for them to be coming at us like they're coming at us. Wake up, fellas. Don't fall for the okie-doke. Stay strong, brother. Get it, got it good. Bye.